Quentin Tarantino's most recent movie, The Hateful Eight, just came out last week. And so, you know what? We're going to give you a review on it because I watched it. Yay. And it was. Yeah. And it was good. Yeah, I enjoyed good. it. I enjoyed it. So, so just to give you a little movie. bit of a intro to it. So this is Quentin Tarantino's eighth film. Uh, yes, he has done eight films. And almost all of them have been masterful. I can't Maybe Jackie Brown, not so much. But the rest of them are top-tier movies. Um, so it, this one takes us back to the Wild World West and kind of a similar setting as you had in Django, at least time period-wise, where we are in the mountains of Wyoming. And a group of people comes together, coincidentally, yes, and they're all kind of crazy. So it leads to some interesting things. And this movie, just so you know, just just to start off with, it, it fits Tarantino to a T. The dialogue, the Tarantino the to action. a T, because his name has a T in it. Okay. It starts with T. But yes, yes, it fits Quentin Tarantino <laughs> very, very well. And it just it just feels like a Quentin Tarantino movie the whole way through. I'll be honest, through the first like half of the movie, almost nothing happens, it feels like. It's just like, okay, we meet some people and there's a blizzard going on. Who cares? But it's still incredibly entertaining the whole way through. So let's just jump right into the review. So first, I like to always review the acting. We have an A-list cast here. You have Tim Roth. You have Kurt Russell. You have Samuel L. Jackson. You have Michael Marsden. You have Walton Goggins, which if you don't know who he is, maybe you don't know the name, but he's been in a lot of things, especially FX shows. He's been in The Shield. He was in Sons of Anarchy for a couple episodes here and there. And he was also in uh, the more recent Justified show. This guy plays a pretty cool character, for, and this part really fits him. So acting is top notch. I mean, it's typical of a Tarantino film. He has some guys that he likes to bring with him from movie to movie. Tim Roth pops up in a bunch of movies of his. Sam Jackson pops up. Michael Marsden pops up in like all of them. So you know, this is he. He brought along with him a top acting cast, and so you can't complain about anything. It, it just it's ex excellently well executed. Um, moving on, the dialogue, so the scripting, the way it's presented. So a little bit of with the directing is again, it's Tarantino esque. It just, like I said, for the first half of the movie, nothing happens, but I'm thoroughly entertained just watching the characters talk to each other. It, yes, a lot of backstory and stuff is given out in this time, but not a lot to push the plot forward. It just, it's it's Tarantino. It's It made me feel like I was watching Reservoir Dogs in the Wild Wild West, which is about as high of a compliment as I can give to a movie, because Reservoir Dogs, the dialogue, the way everything moved, the pacing, everything, it just, it, it was perfect. And this movie kind of just hit that. Also, the soundtrack. I, I don't know how Tarantino does it. He always has the soundtrack go almost perfectly with his movies. Uh, think back to, you know, uh, what is it? Ah, Pulp Fiction. Great, one of the greatest soundtracks ever. Think about Kill Bill, the way RZA did that all. Think about Jay Django Unchained, the way just everything fit from the way the characters look to the sound to the way they talk. It just all feels like it works. So, yeah. Top notch again. Top notch. So, so far we have great acting. We have great uh, directing and writing and, you know, delivering of said <laughs> said dialogue. And now we have the plot. Now, without giving anything away, it's not a very big, complex plot. You have one guy who's a bounty hunter on a road to a city. When a blizzard's blowing in, he meets another bounty hunter on the road, coincidentally. And then they meet another guy on the road. And then they all come together in this... Uh, they call but call it a haberdashery, but it's kind of like a frontier outpost kind of house where you can go, you can rest your horses, maybe get something to eat real quick on your your long journeys. And they meet a whole bunch of other people there, and that's kind of what the plot is centered around now. I will something that's not giving anything away. Kurt Russell is the first bounty hunter who meets Sam Jackson, and he's bringing a very important person to this city so that they can be hung for their crimes. So. That's, I guess you could say, what moves everything forward, uh, mostly. But the plot is just excellent. I mean, uh, again, it's, it's a Tarantino movie. I really mm -hmm. could have done this review in two words. Three words. It's a Tarantino movie. Okay, four words. Uh, counts. It's a Tarantino movie. That's it. That's all you need to say with this one. It's really, everything is spectacular. It's just, it's about two hours and 30 minutes, but it feels like about an hour and a half. So it flows. It just goes perfectly. Um, and overall, I got to give this movie about a four and a half out of five. I actually like this movie better than Star Wars. 
and a lot of people out there will be like, "What are you talking about?" Hey, and it, I'm it I ranked did. higher on my best movies of 2015. It did. It Someone did rank here higher. Brendan's. may have been correct about the ranking there. Just yeah, I. It was it was better than Star Wars in my opinion. I mean, I hadn't seen it, so it didn't rank on my top five. Uh, when we did our top five list of movies from 2015. But uh, now, having seen it, it would definitely be up there on the list. Maybe right behind Ant-Man. Maybe yeah. above it. Who knows? I'd have to give it a little bit of time to think about it. But it was spectacular all the way through. Everything I came together perfectly. I still give it everything to just, just perfectly. Uh, I mean, everything from the cast to the script to the dialogue to the props to the setting, <laughs> just everything worked perfectly, and I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. Now, I do have one complaint towards the end. They have a scene that is a little bit gratuitous and unnecessary. They could have probably cut said scene in half, and you would have been just fine. That, you would have gotten the point. That's but it again, is though, Tarantino. Tarantino. Yeah, I was going to say, that's, that's a Tarantino, Tarantino thing. You kind of that go is, expecting that. So Yeah, so seeing it, I'm like, eh, I don't need so much, but I was like, wait, this is a Quentin Tarantino movie. So it's just enough for Quentin Tarantino. Like I said, four out of five, four point five out of five Chewbacca chainsaws. So if you haven't seen this movie, go see it. Um, one funny little side note, I will say to this, uh, this movie was actually re- released pretty early due to uh, some piracy and the hacking group who released it actually put out a public apology to Quentin Tarantino <laughs> saying, <laughs> Well, we're sorry. We didn't mean to release it before your Cine date, you know, before it comes out in theaters. But uh, it's a good movie, and uh, yeah, maybe a little bit more would have been taken out from piracy. But you're probably still going to make plenty of money, and you did a good job. So, uh, yeah, sorry about that. Interesting. And, I've never yeah, heard of that uh, happening before. I paraphrased the hell out of that note, but <laughs> that was kind of the general gist of it. it was sorry, but you're still going to be rich. It's cool. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like a- I, I've never heard of a, a hacking group apologizing for leaking a movie before. Like if they're in the business yeah, of doing that, like, that's like, it was. That's I, what I, they do. You're right. That is what they do. So maybe they're like, "This movie's so good that we have to apologize for pirating it, but we're gonna do it anyway." Which goes to show something. Like they maybe they didn't watch it before they leaked it. And then they saw it, and they're like, hey, we probably wouldn't have pirated this because it's so yeah. good. So maybe if you put out really good quality stuff, people go see your movie Pirate and give you money for well. it? Whoa. Yeah, so. And people don't want to pirate your stuff if you're actually hmm. making a good movie? Huh. Well, well, all right. But that argument really can't work because they still did pirate it. That's so, <laughs> you know. <laughs> We want more good did. movies, Brian. We want more I good just, movies. <laughs> I, I, I'm totally in agreement. I'm just saying that that's probably the highest compliment a hacking group can give you is saying, we were going to do this anyway, but we feel the need to apologize for doing it. It's like, wow, that's, uh, yeah, nice hackers. <laughs> nice. So, uh, like I said, go out and see it. And if you have seen it, let me know what you think. Hit me up, comments down below. Is my ranking too high or is it too low? I don't know if it could be too low, but <laughs> hit us up. Let us know. Comments down below. Of course, at Words My Face on Twitter, Google Plus and Facebook, always good ways to get a hold of us.